make it for most of my high school days. I tried to, uh, I, think I, <clears throat> I think I bailed. I think I escaped for most of it. Do you know those kind of girls that used to date the older kind of guys? And, uh, you know, I might know one or two. <laughs> <laughs> I might have met one. Yourself at all? Uh, maybe, maybe a little. This is Amber Heard talking about dating older men, and that explains a lot about her. Amber doesn't fit the expectations of a victim. She doesn't act in the way that people want women or victims to act. Perhaps this is rooted in the distrust of women who own their sexuality for themselves rather than for men. When asked in a 2018 interview about how comfortable she felt filming sex scenes, the actress responded swiftly and confidently with, I never feel uncomfortable with my sexuality. I don't think that takes from my power as a woman. And while it would be easier to accept Amber as a victim if she were a subdued character who shied away from sex, she is assertive and often characterized as complex. Just recently, it was revealed that she has been taking advantage of her male lawyers, and that's partly why Elaine Bredehoff left. So how true is this? Let's find out. Back in 2020, during the London hearing, it emerged that Johnny Depp threatened to kill Amber Heard, accusing her of having affairs with nine of her co-stars and introducing rules on her sex scenes and nudity in films. The court heard how the Pirates of the Caribbean actor regularly accused his ex-wife of cheating on him with her various male co-stars, including the British actor actor Eddie Redmayne, as well as Leonardo DiCaprio, Channing Tatum, Jim Sturgis, James Franco, Kevin Costner, Liam Hemsworth, and Billy Bob Thornton. Depp also accused his ex-wife of having an affair with the actress Kelly Garner. But with time, it seems the Kentucky native has been vindicated. Amber's lust for older, richer men is in the public domain, and she freely admitted to liking men way older than her. Recently, a rumor emerged that she'd been having affairs with members of her legal team. Though not confirmed, Amber appeared to be very close to Ben Rottenborn, and has even decided to retain him while firing Elaine Bredehoft. Joining Rottenborn are two other men, David Axelrod and Jay Ward Brown. Just recently, the actress's terrible sexual past was exposed, putting her even in a worse position. Amber has been accused of attending sex parties with some of the most powerful men in the world, including billionaires, in one of the most shocking stories that have come out since her defamation trial against her ex-husband. Writer Jessica Reed Krause has allegedly been conducting in-depth research into Amber's past. She reports details of the orgies the actress allegedly attended with some of the wealthiest men in the world. The parties have been described as being straight out of a scene from the Stanley Kubrick film's Eyes Wide Shut. Krause wrote that the mother of one was not only engaging in these parties, but was also allegedly coercing other women to join them. The article also claims the actress was the center of attention at most of these events. Krause noted in her Substack house in habit how men would allegedly bow down in front of the blonde beauty as she would be sitting on a throne in front of them. Tech gods, capitalists, founders, top executives, and up-and-coming entrepreneurs gathering roughly once a month for wild evenings fueled by alcohol, sex, and copious amounts of MDMA, the report stated. Picture every man's basic fantasy. An unnamed celebrity who allegedly attended some of these parties reportedly told Krauss over a phone call a bunch of young hot girls rubbing all over each other in satanic-style leather outfits on stage. Amber on a throne-like chair at the center, legs spread, with like perfect star on display, performing sex acts for a room full of men watching below. The report described, as the anonymous celebrity added, everyone knew the girls were there for hire, to entertain socially inept billionaires. According to the report, Amber's connection to Elon Musk in these parties went as far back as 2011, when the tech billionaire and his then-wife would allegedly host soirees at their Beverly Hills residence. Knowing that this is the kind of person Amber is, it would be hard to dispute the allegations that she's messing with her legal team. After all, she loves doing weird things. And that's it from us today. Until next time, bye!